Hey everybody, it's Brick Squadron. I'm back for you guys today with an Armada painting video. Now I'm not going to show you how to paint, I'm not going to tell you how to paint, but I'm going to recommend the different techniques and ways that I am doing my Armada ship painting. So if you want your ships to look like these, I would recommend using the same kind of paint I'm using, and you don't have to use the same brushes or anything, but it still get pretty close. So basically, um, for the Rebels, I kind of wanted a silver and red color scheme. And then for the Imperials, I kind of wanted a black and silver scheme. Um, so the paint I'm using is the Testors from Hobby Lobby. It's just normal. I don't really know. It's not hob. It's kind of hobby paint. Um, it says multi-surface. It's got a bunch of... Um, gloss paints in there and it comes with multiple different colors again you can buy these individually or whatever um they're very good you have to remember to shake them up and they're um kind of fumes are kind of poisonous so don't go like smelling the paint or anything um and you're gonna kind of want a good detail brush that has like a very thin tip and then a like random lighter tip brush for your main coat to paint. You're also going to want a paper towel or a paper plate to have your remains of paint on so you can put your ships on here so it doesn't get all over the table, other surfaces while you're painting. So I'm just going to sort of guide you through what I did with these transports. These are the original GR75 transports without any modification whatsoever straight out of the expansion box. Pretty nice, but just kind of gray, dull looking, um, tannish color. And then these are the ones that I painted. And they're pretty bright. They've got lots of silver. I went and did the top of the ship in silver completely. And then I went back after the silver had dried and painted these little red stripes that are kind of like Rebel Alliance -y on there, and then I did these blue highlights for the engines. And then on the bottom of them, I kind of did the same as well. Um, so you can, again, come up with your own designs, your own details, your own um, stripes, colors, whatever. Um, and they also work kind of well on squadrons. I've seen a lot of people do these like brush paints, the spray paints where it's like an airbrush and it's like a whole pile of crazy cool stuff and then they do a whole pile of coats and everything. But that's a bit complicated and I didn't really want to get into all that. So I'm just using these normal paints. For the MC-80, um, for your bigger ships, if you want to do the entire ship a uh, new color, you're going to want to um, paint it in black paint completely let that dry, and then go back over whatever secondary color you have. So here I did the entire ship in black. Then after that was done, I went through and repainted with silver, and then added red stripes and red streaks. It turns out really well. And again, I did blue engines. Um, I kind of like the stripes on the nose right there. They kind of blend backwards and then get longer towards the end of the ship. Um, with your squadrons, you can also paint squadrons. I would not advise it if you're just getting into Armada painting because they are very tricky to paint. And um, since they're so small, they're really hard to get all that detail in. Like the X-Wings, I just did um, red noses and silver cannons. Um, and then the B-Wings, I did some different colors like blue and red, um, they're just really hard to get good detailing on. So I would either go and paint all your squadrons the same color and have them like kind of blocky or just leave them. Or if you wanna be and do like I did, just do some of them a little bit striping like these tie interceptors. I tried to do like um, the Empire does and you have your red ace there and then your backups with your red stripes for each rebel kilt that they have um and that turned out well 
the TIE Bombers, um, these were the first squadrons that I painted. So I went through and I redid all of them in gray. And then, well, with this one, I just redid it completely in black. And then with these, I tried to add the wings and make them black and the cockpits and make those black. And they turned out really well. I kind of like them. Um, with the Empire ships, I mostly just leave them how they are. With the Gazantes, I just wanted to try something different and I made them silver and blue. But the dark gray and light gray go really well for the Imperial color scheme. Uh, I didn't really want to change that, but what you can do to make them still not your normal Imperial ships is take the bases of these ships and basically you can go and use your wider tipped brush and paint them completely black after you take the shield battles off, of course. And then once that's dried, you can put your ship base back together and it looks really cool. It looks kind of like you took a bit of time and thought about the base and painted it. It also just kind of helps it blend into the mat so your ship doesn't look like it's flying around in clear plastic all the time. It looks more like it's a space background. It just looks cooler overall. So yeah, um, you can try whatever paint you want. That's just how I did it. Um, Definitely recommend trying these at least if you want to get into a lot of painting. Thanks for watching guys. This has been Brick Squadron. Um, I hope you liked the video and I'll see you next time. Bye!